In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Trio for your live chat support, how you can also set up an AI live chat agent, or maybe you just want to do it yourself or invite your team members. I'll show you everything you need to know to start using Trio. Now, first of all, if you have not yet created your account, I'll leave a link to the Tidio website down in the description. Through that link, you will be able to get a seven day free trial with no credit card details or any other payment details required. So if you want to get started, just click on the link in the description. And after creating your account, you will see something like this. Now here you have a very convenient five step setup process. First, you need to install it on your website and I'll just show you right now how to do that. So just click install Tidio chat right here. Then from here, you can choose your name or at least the name that you want to appear when it says chat with and then right there. Then you can choose the gradient right here. You can also pick your own colors. So you can just enter your own hex color or you can just kind of make an estimation. But for example, I'll take one of these gradients so I'll take the orange one right here. Then where it says select chat language, you can pick any of these languages and then everything in the chat will be in that language. For me, I'll just keep it to English. Now here you can also upload your profile picture and then you can click continue. Now from here, you need to select the platform that you want to install it on. Now you can do it manually, but the easiest way is if you're using any of these platforms is to just click on it. For example, I'll go with Shopify and then here just click connect to whatever you're using. Now for WordPress, for example, it's a little bit different and you will get a step-by-step -step process. But for example, I'll go with Shopify since that's what I actually use. Now just click connect to Shopify and then you will need to sign into your Shopify account. And they used to have an app on the Shopify app store and now you can just click install. Now all of this is specifically for if you are using Shopify, if you're using something else and you just want to follow the steps that it says. So now it's loading my integration. And now you can see I've installed it on my website. Then next you want to go and show the widget to your visitors. So to do this on Shopify specifically, you need to click complete TDO setup, then click go to Shopify theme editor. And it makes this all very easy. All you need to do is just enable the TDO app and you can do that right here. So make sure this is enabled and then click save in the top right. And then you can go back to TDO and then you can go to your website to check if it's there. And as you can see, in my case it is. And if I now click on the chat icon right here, you can see the profile picture and you can see the colors I picked. And now I can actually start sending a message. And then you need to enter your email because in my case, I selected that I want to talk to people over email, but you can just choose that yourself at the setup. But for now, I'll just go back and go back to the home screen so that I can continue the setup right here. So just click complete onboarding. Now you can take a tour around the inbox. So click take a tour and then click take a tour again. So now just follow this. I'll just skip it for now since I already know it, but I recommend following it. And now here you have no active conversations, but you can actually start to simulate a conversation. So then you can kind of get a feel of how it looks. I can just start entering your message, but I've already shown you that on Shopify. Now you can also integrate Tidio with other apps to keep everything in one place. So it can be integrated with email, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger. Now on top of that, of course, you also have the Tidio widget, but I've already done that one. Now, I recommend just integrating it with anything you use so that you can just have one unified inbox where you or your support team can just reply to all messages from within here. So next, just connect your mailbox. Now you can connect with your existing email or create a new one. And then you will get one of these email addresses. So tdo.xyz. Now I'll do that, for example. So then you can just click next. And now you can see I've now created this email and it's instantly verified and I've now connected a new mailbox where the emails can be sent to. So now go back to the onboarding and click complete onboarding. Now next up, you can connect your own domain. So this will increase credibility and brand awareness by sending emails using your own domain and custom signature. So if you click connect your domain and you have a domain, then right here, you can just connect it and then click next. And then you will need to point the DNS records in your domain hosting program to this right here. So you have the TXT host name, the value, 
And basically you just need to make sure that you have all of this set up. Now, if you're not sure how to do it, you can visit their knowledge base and here they have specific guides on how to do that. Now, it really depends on where you bought your domain. So therefore I cannot fully show it right now. Then to finalize your TDO setup, you can then review your welcome message. So that's the last step here. And then I'll show you how you can also build an AI chatbot, stuff like that. So right here, you can see the standard welcome message in the chatbot is right now high there with the wave. If you need any assistance, I'm always here. So you can keep it like this, or you can write something else if you'd like. And this is to welcome new customers. Now the offline message, so this one right here is if you're online and therefore it says I'm always here. But if you are offline, then you don't want it to say I'm always here. So then you can say we are currently offline. But if you need any assistance, feel free to ask. We will reply as soon as possible. Or you could also enter an email address if you prefer that. And if you click advanced editing and then click OK, continue, you can then also use the advanced editor where you can build out an entire workflow. So this is basically if you are online or not. And then if you are online, send this message. If not, send this. And from here, you can even build it out further and also add different stuff like triggers, conditions, and actions. So under actions, for example, you have randomize, you have a decision, you have open website and model, delay. You have so many things that you can just try out. And you also have stuff specific for your website. So in my case, Shopify, such as check shipping details, recommend products, products and a coupon code, etc. So this can be extremely advanced and you can build this out however you like. Now, once you are happy with it, you can just first test it out. And then if you think it is good, then you can click activate and then say, yes, I'm sure. And then it will save it. And now that I've completed the setup, what you can now do is right here, click on the Lyro AI chatbot. So if you want to use the AI chatbot, because maybe you don't want to spend too much time on support, then what you can just do is set up the Lyro AI chatbot. And now there are different ways to actually use it. So first you can scan priority pages or you can scan a single page. Now, basically the way that it works is that the AI will scan your website for any information such as opening hours, what type of payment methods you accept, what kind of products you have, what the cheapest products are, stuff like that. And then when somebody asks that, it just knows because that is on your website. Now you can also feed it with additional information and FAQs. But for example, I'll just upload a URL right here and then click import knowledge. And then it's going to take all your pages and then import it and basically extract the data from your website to then answer the basic questions that people may have. So just wait for only knowledge to be imported by the chatbot. And then you can go in and test it and activate it. And you can monitor and review unanswered questions. So right now it has actually imported the knowledge. Now in the top right, you can now click test. So now you can ask some questions. So it will say, hello, how can I help you? Now, for example, what types of social housing services does AS Solutions provide? So these are just some questions, but I recommend writing your own question because you know best what is asked often, but you can see it does give a full answer. Now, for example, if I say, where can I contact you? It is also going to come up with an answer. And you can see it has given the email right here and the contact form available on our website. So it has just taken that from the contact us page on this specific website. So this works very well and it can save your team a bunch of time. I think somewhere they say 70%. So this is definitely a good thing to implement for the more basic questions. Now here in the customer section, you can find all of your chats and your live chats as well. You can see where they are from, when they entered and their last visited page. Now, if you click on one of these chats, you can actually see what's going on. You can see if the chatbot is doing well. And if not, you can always join the conversation yourself and write something yourself through chat, messenger, Instagram or WhatsApp. Now you can also see info about the person contacting you. So you can see where they are from, which pages they viewed and any notes that one of your customer support team members may have added to them.
Now, since I've connected Shopify, you can even see their total amount spent, what products they ordered and the status of the orders. So it's really advanced. And specifically for e-commerce, I think Tidio is a really amazing software, but I do also think that for service-based businesses, it's very valuable. Now, in terms of the pricing that you have to pay for it, you can go to usage and plan right here. And again, you can get a seven day free trial through the link in the description. But you can see after your free trial, you have 100 monthly flows. Then the chatbot gets you 50 conversations. Customer service is also 50 after the trial. Now, this is just in the starter free plan right here. So they have a completely free plan available. And then if you want more, then you can just upgrade to one of their premium plans, which I think may be worth it. But you can just determine that for yourself. So you can also use it for the chatbot, for the flows and you can choose monthly or annual billing. Now, finally, I want to show you the flows right here. So you can also click add from template and then they have a bunch of templates that you can also add in. For example, an upsell template. So for example, the upselling bot with free shipping, you can just click on learn more and then you can see the key features of each template. So this one starts when a visitor adds something to the cart and it informs what the minimum order value is for free shipping. So if you have something like that on your store, you could, for example, say, hey, you can add one more product so that you have a total of 50 euros and you will then save this amount on shipping or you will then get free shipping. So you can just test it out or just click use template. Now you can customize the intro message, the offer message and all of that. And again, you can also go through the advanced editing to add conditions and all of that stuff. But for now, I'll just click activate. And then you can see now the upsending bot is also enabled. They can also see the engagement rate for it. And if you click show statistics right here, you can see how it's actually doing the helpfulness and the actual conversations that have come from it. Now in your analytics right here, you can also see all of your analytics, even for specific operators. You can see the tickets that are open, that have been handled and stuff like that. And now actually to invite a team member, which is something important to go over, you just want to click settings in the bottom left. And from here under general, you can go to team and then go to operators. And now here click add an operator. And now you can actually invite an operator and you can choose their permissions, for example, just chat agent. And then you can add them as well into your account so that they can also start handling tickets in the inbox. So that concludes this Tidio tutorial. And to give you my honest review of it as well, I think it is a really amazing customer service platform that I would totally recommend over all of the other ones in my personal opinion. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And if you do sign up through the link down in the description, I would really appreciate it. And if you do decide to purchase one of their paid plans, I will earn a commission. So that would be very much appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.